Other stories our EWTN News Nightly team is covering in today's world. The U.S. urges Turkey to protect basic rights and freedoms following yesterday's vote to give the country's president sweeping new power. Thousands of people celebrate a new constitution in Turkey. It gives President Recep Tayyip Erdogan more power than ever, with the country replacing its parliamentary system of governance with a presidential one. That means the prime minister's job will be abolished and all the authority will be put in the president's hands. The yes or no referendum came down to the narrowest of margins with 51 percent voting yes and nearly 49 percent no. <laughs> President Erdogan spoke to the crowd after polls closed last night, thanking his supporters. But with celebration from the yes camp came sorrow from opponents. They say they faced intimidation and threats of violence and say the changes do not provide enough checks and balances. <laughs> One political analyst who has lived in Turkey for nearly 30 years is worried about the lack of trust among the Turks and a highly politicized judicial system. Even if the courts rule that there was no uh, irregularities, a lot of people in the country won't, won't believe it. Uh, and this is again a very major problem going forward. Um, you really need the people in the country to trust the system. The new constitution, which allows the president to appoint ministers, judges and other top officials, is set to go into effect in 2019.